Over the years, there have been unofficial reports that rosemary oil can treat male pattern baldness. However, these were only rumors and had no scientific backing whatsoever. A recent study, however, tested and compared the effects of rosemary oil and minoxidil 2% for hair loss, and they came to quite an interesting conclusion. My name is Gio, and without further ado, let's get on to the video. Also, before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It really helps us out and lets me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Rosemary oil is a fragrant herb with soft needle-shaped leaves with white, pink, blue, or purple flowers. This plant is native to the Mediterranean and is extremely rich in its antioxidant properties. You're probably more familiar with this herb as something that is used as seasoning. However, for many years, it has been used in medicine. A recent study published by SkinMed compared the effects of topical rosemary oil to the well-known hair loss drug minoxidil. In 1988, minoxidil became the first drug approved by the FDA for treatment of baldness. This is a breakthrough in the treatment of hair loss as there was only one approved hair loss cure at the time, that being finasteride. So given that minoxidil is a proven hair loss remedy, it would be very impressive if a natural alternative in the form of rosemary oil matched its effectiveness. During the study, subjects were randomly assigned to either rosemary oil or 2% minoxidil solution. They rubbed one milliliter each solution into the scalp twice a day with around 12 hour intervals. After three to six months of treatment, the results were evaluated using standardized photomicrographic assessments. The results were as follows. There were no significant changes after three months of treatment, neither in the rosemary nor in the minoxidil group. However, both groups showed considerable increase in hair regrowth after six months of treatment. Moreover, there was no seizable difference between groups in terms of hair regrowth at either three or six months. This means that not only did rosemary oil cause a significant growth in hair count number in six months, but it proved to be as efficient as 2% minoxidil. Moreover, the group using rosemary oil suffered less from an itchy scalp after six months compared to the group using 2% minoxidil, which is pretty promising. So how does rosemary oil work against hair loss? The authors of the study propose different causes as to why rosemary Rosemary oil acts so efficiently against hair loss. Exactly. So first off, the smooth muscle antispasmodic activity from rosemary oil can improve blood flow to the hair follicles. The high concentration of camphor found in rosemary oil may explain this effect. Interestingly enough, minoxidil has a similar effect. However, this is not considered the primary reason as to why the oil stops hair loss. Another possible reason as to why rosemary oil works so well against hair loss is that it is rich in antioxidants. According to the study, patients with alopecia were found to have lower levels of antioxidants and an increased level of oxidants, which also needs to be taken into consideration when evaluating its effectiveness. So since rosemary oil may have a positive effect on the oxidants on the scalp, it does create ideal conditions that prevent hair loss. Rosemary also has antibacterial and antifungal properties, and given that quite a large group of hair loss cases have been linked to fungal and bacterial infections, it is natural to assume that this could also be the reason why some individuals see hair regrowth after using rosemary oil. Finally, it is worth mentioning that minoxidil and rosemary oil were both applied by massaging the mixture into the scalp, and since scalp massages lead to increased blood circulation and better absorption through the pores, the application method was optimal to ensure the regrowth of said hair follicles. While the test shows that rosemary oil is indeed efficient, it is by no means a miracle cure for hair loss as it won't help you regrow your hair by 100% as it was before. Even medications like finasteride and deuteroide don't have results like that. And those two are far more potent medications. Another vital part of this test was that rosemary oil was compared to 2% minoxidil and not 5. As we all know, men typically use 5% and women use 2. Therefore, it is clear that rosemary oil might only be optimal for assisting in the hair regrowth process in women. But the results are still positive, and that is why some men consider using rosemary oil as an additive to their minoxidil therapy. On the other hand, rosemary provides effective alternative therapies for those who, for whatever reason, cannot use minoxidil. While the side effects of minoxidil are minimal, they seem even less likely when using rosemary. As mentioned in the study, rosemary oil reduces scalp itching, which is the primary side effect of minoxidil. But by itself, rosemary oil is unlikely to have a high impact on reducing hair loss, so if you do decide to give it a try, it is best to use it in conjunction with other hair loss treatments, 
like minoxidil or finasteride for maximal results. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. It really means a lot and allows us to keep producing more content like this for you guys. Also, if you're looking for more information on hair regrowth, hair growth, beard care, as well as beard grooming, you can check out our website here, GC. It is pretty awesome and it will be linked in the description box down below for anything and everything hair and beard related. My name is Gio and as always, people have an awesome day and I will see you next time.